Alright guys, welcome back to another challenge guide video and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to do every single challenge inside of the bullseye mission challenges. That is right guys, all of the locations such as the bullseyes, hitting weak points while harvesting, where to find the firing range targets, the skydiving courses, all of that stuff, both the normal challenges and the prestige challenges in one single video. So yeah guys, this should be a very helpful video. So yeah guys, if you do find it helpful, hit that like button down below as well as subscribe because I'm going to be posting these guides every single week especially also when season 11 starts so you don't want to miss those videos and on top of that if you want to help support me be sure to use code the llamaser in the item shop i appreciate that a ton but yeah guys without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it with the first challenge we have a ton of challenges to go over so let's jump into it with the first and that one is starting it off strong here land on different bullseyes now this one's a little bit confusing it says to land on different bullseyes but then says like one so i'm not 100 sure i'll show you what i believe are all three of them i looked around and could only find three it's actually an easier challenge to get done than you may think the bullseyes are very very easy to see they're basically you know big red circles on the map itself so when you start off a match doesn't even really matter solo team rumble stuff like that however i would recommend team rumble for the next couple of challenges here but yeah simply look around when you're skydiving and you should be able to find these for example if you go over to the snow biome you can find one that will spawn to the north of greasy grove it's in between these two hills and again, you can see it pretty easily when gliding in. On top of that, guys, there's another one a little bit more south in the snow biome. It's on this hill, as you can see right here, and then it shows up, you know, sort of next to that big mountain. And again, you'll see it when you're dropping in. And then for the third one, it is over in the desert biome, as you can see right here on top of the hill next to the Oasis gas station. And again, very easy to spot. It's right out in the open on top of a hill. And that is the third one right there. Now, then after that, guys, I said you should stick in Team Rumble because you have hit weak points while harvesting. This one is very easy to get done in Team Rumble because you can just drop somewhere off on maybe the edge of the map or just some location on your team's side and then you don't have to worry about enemies. You can go ahead and get the 50 of these that you need very very easily. Now in case you're confused about what they mean by weak points, what that means is that circle that shows up when you're harvesting. You need to hit that circle 50 times. So it should be very easy overall. You just sit somewhere harvesting for a bit and you'll be able to get this done in one single match. On top of that guy Guys, moving on to the third challenge here, you have get an elimination with a sniper rifle. So for this one, you obviously want to stay in Team Rumble, and that's why I recommend it, because Team Rumble has got to be the easiest mode to get this challenge done in. So obviously, guys, you just go to a location, look around for a bit until you find a sniper. Either a bolt or a heavy is going to work great. And again, I always recommend going maybe to, like, the pressure plants, because you can sort of glide around and look for, um, epic and legendary items, which obviously the snipers spawn in. So you can look around for those and hope hopefully find one. Now then after that, simply run into the circle, you know, look around for an elimination, try and maybe find somebody standing still, and you should be able to get it done. It's super easy. Then after that, guys, you have a bit of a tough challenge here. You have hit easy firing range target. So yeah, guys, this one is a little bit confusing as well, but I'll explain it for you right here. And real quick, as a reminder, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I will be posting these guides in season 11 as well, which is right around the corner. So if you don't want to miss those, being subscribed and having notifications turned on is the the best way to know about them but yeah so basically there's two things that you need the first of which is to find these firing ranges around the map or one of the firing ranges now don't worry guys i have two different locations to show you here two should be plenty since you only really need to go to one of them so yeah but for example here with the first of which this one is right near polar peak as you can see this is what they mean by a firing range we've had these in previous seasons battle passes this time it's just a little bit different so yeah basically how it works you look for that sign and then you go on to the pressure plate right there and two targets will pop up in front of you now obviously what you want to do then is hit the nearest target because that is technically the easy target now there's also a uh, prestige challenge for this as well and we'll cover that when we get into the prestige challenges here but yeah for this one you just want to hit that easy target now then for a separate location because obviously you're going to run into other people going to these locations so it's a good idea to have you know two different ones and then pick like the one that's farther away from the bus path maybe and also i would recommend something like team rumble Let's people also you have teammates you can hopefully get this challenge done but yeah for the second location it's in between fatal fields and lucky landing right on this hill again in between those two locations and again two different targets pop up you want to hit the first one as you can see right there so yeah guys it's actually pretty easy once you know how to get it done and then keeping it going here with the next challenge you have complete the skydiving course over fatal fields after jumping from the battle bus and basically what you are looking for guys once you drop out of the battle bus go towards fatal fields 
distance, you will see these four rings show up above Dusty Depot. So obviously then you want to glide through those rings. So just take your time, you know, pull out your glider when you need to, just to make sure you don't miss one. That's the main thing you're worrying about with this challenge is just not missing them, making sure to hit all four of them when you're skydiving down. And then when you hit the fourth one, you will have the challenge done very easy overall. And there's also another one like this in the prestige challenges, which I'll show you. But yeah, that's how you get that one done right there. And then after that, guys, you have a fairly straightforward challenge. Still got a couple of tips for you here. This one is to get 10 headshots. So yeah, fairly simple overall. However, what I would recommend is to just go into Team Rumble, grab something like a normal AR, whatever you're comfortable with, maybe even a shotgun, but then just go specifically for headshots. You know, get into maybe medium range battles, especially with the uh, shotguns that's fairly easy to hit. And after a little bit of time in Team Rumble, you'll be able to get this one done. It's not the hardest challenge in the world, just takes a little bit of time to finish. Then after that, guys, you have the final of the normal challenges, and then we'll jump into it with the tougher prestige challenges. This time you have destroy loot carriers from 50 meters away, and you have to destroy two of those. So yeah, guys, in case you're new to the game and you're not sure what loot carriers are, basically they are these little drones that spawn at what are called hotspots. Now, hotspots are areas of the map, well, where these drones spawn, but basically the way that you recognize them is taking a look at the mini-map and looking for the locations that have yellow names. Every game, it's random which locations are yellow, but look for those and then drop right towards them. Now, once you're in that location, obviously you're going to need to find something to fire at the loot carriers, but once you do that, simply look up in the air and try to find a loot carrier fairly far away. 50 meters isn't too far, but it's not super close either. So yeah, just make sure it's a good distance, knock a couple of them down, and you'll have the final challenge of the normal challenges finished. Then moving on here to the prestige challenges, you have got the first of which, which is to hit five consecutive weak points while harvesting. So similar to the one that I already showed you with the weak points and stuff like that, where you just had to hit 50 total, this time you have to hit five consecutive ones. And obviously the easiest way to do that is to just go up to something that first of all has enough health to be hit five times. So like a metal wall, a metal container, something like that. But make sure you go up like super close to it. The closer you are, the easier it is to hit consecutive circles and the easier it is to get the challenge done. So yeah, that one's fairly easy. And then moving on here, you have destroy loot carriers from 100 meters away. So that one again is similar to the loot carrier one from the normal challenges, but 100 meters away is fairly far. It's over at least 10 walls. I think it's maybe more towards like 12 to 15 walls away. Somewhere around that area is like 100 meters. So you definitely want to uh, fire at the loot carriers that are like fully across the location that you're at. It's going to take a decent amount of aim, but you should be able to get it done no problem, especially if you have something like an infantry rifle is great for this, especially maybe even a sniper. But yeah, just make sure you're far enough back. That's the easiest way to get it done. Also do team rumble since uh, less people. On top of that, you have hit headshots in a single match and you need three of them total. For that one, similar to the uh, challenge we talked about where it was just to hit like uh, a bunch of headshots, same exact thing. Go into team rumble, find an item that you are comfortable with. Doesn't matter what it is, but again, you want to be comfortable with it because then you want to go for headshots. But honestly, don't worry about it too much. This should be fairly straightforward, especially again in team rumble. You don't have to worry about getting eliminated because you'll just respawn. You'll get another try. And a lot of the times when you're just playing normally, you end up getting headshots anyways. So it's nothing to worry about. This one should be fairly easy as well. Most likely will probably take you around one game. And hey, you can maybe work on some other challenges at the same time, like the destroy the loot carrier ones and also the hit five consecutive ones. You can do that at the uh, hot spot and then you can move into the circle and go for those headshots all in the same match, get three challenges done. Keeping it going here though, you have hit hard firing range targets, or I think you only need one of them, but that goes back to the firing ranges that I showed you earlier. So if we go back to those locations, again, there is one near um, Fatal Fields and another one over near Polar Peak. So once you go to those locations, one or the other doesn't really matter. Basically, instead of hitting the closer target, you simply want to hit the further away target. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If for some reason they change how it works for some odd reason or there's a glitch, simply check the pinned comment down below for updates. But I'm pretty sure that is how it indeed works because, you know, you got the easy target up front and the hard target farther away. So yeah, make sure to hit that further target and you should be done with this one. After that then, guys, you have complete the skydiving course over Dusty Depot after jumping from the battle bus. So again, similar to the one that I showed you earlier from Fatal Fields, this one is instead over Dusty Depot. So it's practically the exact same thing. But as you can see here, here is the location of the rings. They are a different color, so that's something interesting. But again, you start at the highest one up and then you glide down to the one below that, then the one after that, and then finally the last one should be four total. And also again, use your glider to slowly go in between them. You don't have 
have to go through them fast or anything like that. So take your time, just make sure you get to each individual one so you don't miss one. And then after that, guys, let's move on to the hit headshots with a scoped weapon. So this one is fairly tough, actually. It's obviously tougher than the uh, headshots challenge that we had earlier, but scoped weapons, obviously you have like the scoped AR, the snipers, things like that. And honestly, what I would recommend is the scoped AR. That is probably going to be the easiest one because it doesn't have bullet drop off. It has a decent fire rate, decent range, and is honestly fairly good to use in the first place. So yeah, pick that up, sit at a good distance away from enemies in Team Rumble, and then just try to hit some headshots. They don't all have to be in the same game either, which makes it even easier. And then after that, guys, let's talk about the final challenge in this video, and that is land a bottle flip on a target near a giant fish, llama, or pig. Pretty interesting challenge right here. Obviously, there are two different parts to that. The first of which is knowing how to land a bottle flip, and the second of which is uh, where the targets are and stuff like that. So first of all, starting out with how to land a bottle flip more consistently, I tested it out, and basically the best way to land a bottle flip is to aim about 30 degrees downwards, or around 30 to 45 degrees. As you can see right here, that is about the right angle to land a bottle flip on flat ground almost every time. And a lot of the times people look too high, so keep in mind that you may actually need to look further down to land a bottle flip. And then after that, guys, for the locations, you're looking for a little target on the ground that shows up near um, these locations right here. You've got the giant fish over towards the pressure plant up towards the top right of the map. It's right over here, as you can see. And then after that, you have the llama, which is up towards the top left of the map near um, Junk Junction. That one's a very easy one to go to, but I feel like that one's going to be the most common, so maybe avoid it. And then finally, you have got the pig, which is down near Lucky Landing, as you can see right there. And again, look around those general areas for a target on the ground, land a bottle flip, and that's how you complete the challenge. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to subscribe for more challenge guide videos coming up in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, going over how to get the glow skin for free, and then below that, my previous week's challenge guide video. But anyways, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.